diffraction at a single slit. Let us imagine a plane wave front incident on a narrow slit AB figure 10.20. All the waves shall arrive at the slit in the same phase. Let the wave proceed towards O. Since all of these will arrive at O in the same phase, therefore a shape image of high intensity will be produced at O. According to the laws of ray optics or geometrical optics, we should have a point image at O, the focus of the lens L. But according to the wave theory, every point in AB will be a center of secondary wavelets. Let us discuss their net effect on the screen. Let us consider a point P on the screen such that wavelets reaching P make an angle theta with direction CO. The wavelets start from different parts of the slit in the same phase, but they shall not arrive at P in the same phase because they will cover unequal distance in reaching P. Drop a perpendicular AN from A to the extreme ray at the end of the slit. Now suppose the path difference BN between the wavelets from A and B is lambda. Beyond the points A and N, the secondary wavelets cover equal distances. So the only effect will be due to this path difference lambda between the extreme rays. Let the slit AB be imagined to be divided into a large number of strips, say 20. Then there are 10 strips in the upper region AC and 10 strips in the lower regions CB. C is the midpoint of AB. Path difference between wavelets from A and C equals to lambda by 2. The wavelets from A and C will arrive at P with a phase difference of pi and thus cancel each other's effect there. Similarly, the strip 1 and the strip 11 will have the path difference of lambda by 2 and the effect at P due to these will be 0. Likewise, strip 2 and strip 12. And so, every strip in the upper half together with its corresponding strip in the lower half will cancel each other's effect. Ultimately, it follows that P will be a dark point. This will happen if Bn is equal to lambda. If the width of the slit ID D, we have lambda by D equals to sine theta. Thus the condition of the first minimum on the screen is that P should have an angular separation theta from O such that sine theta equals to lambda by D. If theta is very small, then sine theta equals to zero. And we may write theta equals to lambda by D, A. Similar pattern will be obtained on the lower side at P. Thus, due to diffraction, the image at the focus of the lens will not be a point O, but a strip of finite width.